Automobile Magazine recently awarded the Tesla Model 3 2018 Design of the Year, calling the car simple and straightforward, perfectly proportioned with minimal extraneous detailing. The magazine goes on, it has all been done with unmistakably good taste. We have the impression that the studied simplicity of both interior and exterior will let this car age extremely well, that in 10 years it will still look contemporary and beautifully understated. Automobiles Robert Cumberford sat down with Tesla's chief designer Franz von Holzhausen to learn more about his approach to the design of Tesla's newest sedan. It's reported that, von Holzhausen, a born American despite his Teutonic sounding name, has deep industry experience, having created the Pontiac Solstice and heading Mazda design in California before being headhunted by Musk for Tesla. Von Holzhausen explained the design brief for the Tesla Model 3, it was essentially customer-driven. They saw the Model S as a great car, but there was a desire for something 10 to 20 percent smaller. We thought the $35,000 price point would work. We wanted five seats, more interior space, and to keep the fastback silhouette. Von Holzhausen describes the attributes that Model 3 shares with its siblings, the Model S and X. For instance, we knew that flush door handles were important, but we simplified the mechanism, so they are not as costly. We kept good aerodynamics for range as well as to make the car sporty. Not silliness, just clean and sporty. Von Holzhausen also explains the rationale behind some of Model 3's design choices. To keep the fast back profile, we eliminated the liftgate and used a normal trunk lid. To keep a faster profile, we moved the structure head, to make sure the head impact criteria were all met. The big backlight is something we had experience with on the Model X windshield. Von Holzhausen elaborates on why the design team decided to eliminate the front grille altogether, that was a long time coming. We made the early cars less distinct from rivals but slowly came to the solution of how to keep a premium sports feel friendlier and happier than the luxury S. We changed that car too, modifying 200 to 300 parts when the S was restyled without the painted shield. Nissan Leaf owners in Japan will be able to exchange their car's old batteries for refabricated ones under a new, fee-based program. Starting in May, owners of the 100% electric Nissan Leaf can turn in their used batteries and, for a fee, receive refabricated ones. Nissan is using the battery refabrication capabilities of Forer Energy Corporation, a company established through a joint venture with Sumitomo Corporation to offer the program. As demand for electric vehicles grows, the number of used batteries will increase significantly. Nissan hopes that by reclaiming these batteries, it can help lower battery replacement costs and heighten the used car value of electric vehicles. This will enhance the electric car ownership experience, which in turn will help promote their use, ultimately contributing to lower CO2 emissions. Nissan will initially offer 24 kilowatt-hour refabricated batteries for 300,000 yen apiece, with plans to expand the lineup. Exchange costs for brand new Nissan Leaf batteries are 650,000 yen for 24 kilowatt-hours, 800,000 yen for 30 kilowatt-hours, and 820,000 yen for 40 kilowatt-hours. Nissan is the industry leader in zero-emission vehicles, having sold more than 300,000 Nissan LEAF electric cars. The company is working to create a sustainable mobility society through the spread of electric vehicles, the enhancement of electric vehicle infrastructure and the advancement of renewable energy. Subaru has released another teaser of the all-new 2019 Subaru Forester, which is set to make its debut at the 2018 New York International Auto Show. Unlike its previous release, this one is better lit and gives us a more detailed look at the vehicle's rear. 
Once again, we are shown the Forester's new C-shaped taillights that are significantly different than the current model. Not only do they occupy a smaller footprint than before, the C-element is better defined this time around. Around the taillights, we see concave sections on the tailgate, one of which is for the number plate holder. Towards the bottom, there is a silver-colored bit of trim with cutouts for the exhaust, which is integrated into the rear bumper that is black. Meanwhile, the Touring badge indicates this particular Forester is one of the higher-end variants that will be available. Comparing this teaser to suggested renders, we find the concave section at the base of the tailgate to be absent. Additionally, there isn't any trim placed to link the taillights either, and the rear bumper is certainly different. All will be revealed when the new Forester is revealed in New York, but the model will likely retain the overall shape of the fourth generation SJ, model. Expect the brand's four-cylinder boxer engines, including hybrid, CVT and symmetrical all-wheel drive system to feature as well, along with a range of eyesight driver assistance and safety systems. When it comes to Tesla's stock, it's usually the latest Model 3 production data that dictates much of its trading, which is why the company's release, expected early next month, will be so important for shareholders deciding what to do going forward. But the derivatives team at JP Morgan doesn't think investors should let it get to that, and it has an idea for how they can brace for the worst ahead of time. After all, even Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, has labeled the Model 3 situation production hell, suggesting traders would be well advised to keep their wits about them. At the core of JP Morgan's Tesla recommendation is the idea that the company's stock has little to gain from reporting an in-line number or even one that beats estimates, and an outsized amount to lose in the event of a disappointing number. Sean Quigg an equity derivative strategist at JP Morgan said, We believe the market may be underpricing the potential significance of the Model 3 production release, which we expect in early April. We see greater reward risk and positioning for a downside move. Also informing JP Morgan's suggested options trade is what it describes as a kink in Tesla's term structure, or the slope of implied volatility expectations. As the chart below shows, there's minimal expectation of price swings in April, which the firm says has created this prime opportunity. So onward with the trade recommendation, JP Morgan says investors should sell April May calendar put spreads, which involves buying April puts and selling those expiring in May, both with a strike price of $300. The maximum profit for investors will be the premium collected, as long as the trade is closed at April expiry. Further, JP Morgan also recommends unwinding both legs of the trade at or before expiration in April. With all this in mind, Quig and company are following the lead set by Ryan Brinkman, the JP Morgan analyst who covers Tesla and the rest of the automotive space. Using Brinkman's outlook, Quigg concludes that sentiment is at a precarious position right now and warns that some widely held bullish arguments are on the cusp of rolling over. He said, we believe the market may be underpricing the potential significance of the Model 3 production release, which we expect in early April, and thus recommend investors consider selling calendar put spreads to take advantage of the term structure kink. In the end, According to data compiled by the financial analytics firm S3 Partners, it's somewhat surprising that traders don't seem to be particularly worried about the April production update, considering Tesla's stock has for quite some time been the most shorted in the US market. Of course, it just goes to show that despite overarching caution, there are still money-making, and possibly money-saving opportunities for traders willing to look deeper, with JP Morgan's help. Tesla's stock is up 12% over the past year but has slipped more than 5% so far in 2018. 